Welcome, everyone. Great workout today. All right. Hope you guys are feeling good. We are here for a, another wonderful workout with you guys. Uh, we're going to start with a timed workout, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. And we got to get that chair out of the way right oh, yeah. now. Yeah. It's a little intrusive. Okay, our two movements that we are going to do with this interval is going to be called uh, 3D lunge. So it's three lunges on one side. So if we can all come up with a mantra of step forward with your right, step back with your right, step to the side with your right. So just that right leg is kind of the mover, forward, backward, sideways. We're gonna do 30 seconds on one side and then 30 seconds on the other side. So one foot is planted. So just notice that one of his legs is staying in the same spot the whole time. All right, and then we have a shuffle hop. We are just hopping one foot out in front, forward and back, just shuffling. All right, just trying to move our calves and a little bit of jumping today. So we are gonna run through this with you. 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Going in 10 seconds. Getting warm and toasty. Let's say the mantra, start on your right leg. Three, two, one. Right leg forward, right leg backwards, right leg side lunge. Go ahead, right leg forward, same, same side. Same leg. Right leg backwards, right leg to the side. Am I even using my right leg? <laughs> right leg forward, right leg backwards, and side. Keep going, just that same leg. Forward. Seven more right seconds. Leg. Backwards, right leg sideways. Right leg forward, right leg. All right, rest for 15. Switching There's legs. For you. Who's coming? Where is he? Where is he? Where's your ball? Where's your ball? All right, ready? Going on to the left. Three, two, one. Left leg forward, left leg backwards, left leg to the side. Forward. forward. Back. Backwards. Side. Sideways. We're going to run through this, by the way. Three rounds of this. Forward. Back. Side. Still on that left leg. Left leg is doing all the moving. Left leg forward. Left leg back. Side. All right. Now we have that shuffle. Shuffle. Hop. Hop. Shuffle hop. I don't like my, like... Follow up it on you. Yeah. It's like springtime outside. Yeah. Jimmy's Spring. ready for the summer. Easter. Easter colors. Easter colors. <laughs> Go ahead. So shuffling forward and back. You can go quick, you can go slow. Oh, uh, yeah, I get the arms into it. <laughs> I still have like a slight step neck, so just don't look at my poor lack of here. movement. It's much better than that last video. If you guys watched it, it still hurts a little bit. <laughs> oh, JP. He's oh yeah, over. He's going extra fast. Over speed. Make it up for Krista. <laughs> Two, one. All right, I am warm. Two more rounds. Woo wee! Going back to that right leg. Tony Baloney, you're my. Oh, you're in my side lunge. Side lunge, right. Always in the way. Right leg again. Two, one. Right leg forward. Right leg back. Right leg to the side. I don't know. What, what are our Easter plans? Zooming, zooming, zooming. Uh, Easter. Zooming with the family? Yeah. Someone uh, told me they had a really fun idea between their family members, uh, like siblings and everything. They're all going to kind of make their own at-home feast and then all take pictures and then kind of judge who had the best spread, individual spread for Easter. I thought that was kind of a cute idea. Super cute. You're getting nothing. Nothing. I like it. Onto that left leg. Three, two, one. Here we go. Left leg forward, left leg back, left leg to the side. Left, left, left. If you're messing the 3D lunge up, it doesn't matter. That's okay. As long as you're lunging. Okay. Like, Just move. We like movement. Just move. Yeah, a couple beautiful days here. Hope you guys uh, safely went outside and enjoyed them. We have our shuffle, shuffle hop, shuffle hop, shuffle it up, shake it up. 
Those are shake down problems. Yeah, those are shake downs. Two, one, shuffle time. Once again, don't look at me. I'm kind of like T Rex over here. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts my arms. <laughs> Oh, overdrive! Oh. Overdrive! <laughs> Ten seconds. Come on, Kona, shuffle hop. Shuffle. Not even trying. Shuffle. Shuffle. Two. <laughs> All right, one more round. One more round. Starting up on that right leg again. Last time in each session. Three, two, one. <laughs> Right leg forward, right leg back, right leg to the side, 3D lunge, forward back side. All Up. three dimensions. Three, that's what 3D stands for. What? So then when you guys all get back here, you be dug. He's gonna lose his mind in the crate. He loves it. He's been trying to put him in there just to kind of still be used to it. He misses everyone. He's very upset. <laughs> Two, one, go. Left leg forward, left leg back. Left, ooh. Oh, 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 left leg. In my way. You're my way. Oops. This my side, side lunge. Could be Whoop. All right, last time uh, shuffle hopping. Shuffle hop. Shuffle hop. That's on. You know. I go to shuffle hop. All right, here we go. Shuffle hop. Oh, my arms. Can't move my arms. That hurts. <laughs> I've been putting so much Tiger Bomb on my body. I swear to God, I like, I stink. <laughs> like a tiger. Yeah, it's not like a tiger. Quick, like a tiger. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. All right. We have another Warm up. one of these. JP, will you reset the timer? Yeah, absolutely. While I reset my hair. So another 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. We have lateral squat hops. So you're going to do a squat and then hop to the side. All right, so 30 seconds of squat, hop to the side. You can always squat and step to the side. You don't have to hop and you can always just squat and do nothing. Just squat. All right. So whatever you feel the most comfortable with. The next one we're going to do uh, leg swings. So opening up our hips. So we're going to go 15 seconds. You can hold on to something if you need to. 15 seconds on one leg, 15 seconds on the other leg. And then we have plank marches. We're going to do that in a high plank. But we're going to kick out to the side, back, and then out to the side and back. All right. So that is our third movement. All right. My phone is ringing. Going 10 seconds. I got friends. Did your parents get? It was my mother. <laughs> Nancy. Two, one, squat. I am not hopping. Just like I said, my neck is still a little tight. So for me, just moving in general uh, is going to make my neck feel a little bit looser. I just want to aggravate it. Aaron, Aaron Lane knows my, my pillow. Sometimes I don't get hurt doing anything but sleeping. I hurt myself while I sleep. I guess what happens when you get older. Yeah, is this what being 30 plus years old? Just wake up in pain. Yeah, just wake up. Pull your neck. No reason. Yeah. 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 No reason. No injury. You gotta hold on, Jamie. Yeah, hold on. Hold on to something. Yeah, I'll hold on to something. A little yeah. balance. Okay, so this way. Just get up this. And leg swing out to the side. Try to control your leg on the way down because it is going to still warm up your muscles. Don't let your leg just kind of like whip around like a wet noodle. What noodle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
and switch legs. Try to keep your core tight too, so don't be rotating through too much through your core. Try to keep your hips facing down. Plank march, we're kicking off to the side. A little modification version here, just to the clinic. I'm going to be on all fours, so for 15 seconds, I am just going to kick out to the side and back with one leg. Kona is blocking my leg from moving, but you get the idea. So if you feel like on your, uh, in your push-up position, that is a little tough, you can't see me at all, but that's okay. Hands and knees just swinging, kind of like my leg swing, but I'm just kicking out to the side, try to keep your body as still as you can. Once again, I'm doing this just to take a little pressure off of my upper back. Try and keep my core tight while I do this. All right, back to squat hops. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating. Very sweating. I'm modifying, I'm sweating, so. All right, squats, squat step, squat hop. Just squat whatever you want. We're squatting down, I'm doing something. How's those squat hops feeling, JP? Warm. Yeah. Super, super explosive. Oh, yeah. Hopefully the right kind of explosive. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here are leg swings. Say far. Yeah. Ballerina. Ballerina time. Out to the side. Swing through. Don't kick it out of your face. Good job. Good job. Good job. Get out of my way. Oh, I kicked you. Switch side of the video switch. I didn't switch. Did you tell them to switch? Oh, uh, no. Oh. I got so excited about the one side. Oh, you switched. <laughs> I was distracted by Kona. Stop the video. If you need to, switch sides. <laughs> I do a couple of tricks, but I just stopped. All right. Plank marches. Plank marches, or modified thing I'm doing. I'm kicking my legs still off the side, still squeezing my core. So just 15 on one side. Oh, not 15. 15 seconds on one side, 15 seconds on the other side. You're doing it my way, switch, other leg. Try to keep leaning over those shoulders. How's that dog smell? Smells good. Rest, we have one more round. Back to the top. Last time. Whew. Sweaty. Sweaty, getting warm. Three, two, one, your squat something variation for 30 seconds. When you jump out of your squat, try to drive through your heels, not your toes. Use the back of your legs. And if you're squatting, just keep your heels on. Three, two, one and leg swings. 15 seconds on one side, 15. I will. And that timer. Will not forget. Three, two, two one. one, go. Swing in that leg. Once again, just control your leg on the way down. Don't just let it flop down. Two, one, let's switch sides. That was good to move the hips after all that sitting. Oh, yeah. My body's not meant to sit down. No, it hurts. Hurts to sit. Hurts. I'm in a lot of pain. Look at it. my neck. Sitting. Literally sitting down. Hurts my neck. Oh, we almost. Yeah, we almost. Oh, yeah. 
And are you excited to get to the next part, Jeff? I was. All right, do your plank march or your balancing act over here, variation. Come kick me. Kicking boots. And whoopsie, switch legs. Funny baloney. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right. Excellent. Hope you guys are feeling warm. If you want to grab a sip of water, you got to grab some water. We're going to set ourselves up for our strength portion of this video. We need a chair or some type of like knee height object. Uh, your couch would actually work for this, um, for this next piece. All right. So you can either grab that, grab some water. We'll kind of get ourselves set up here. We're doing some leg stuff today. Legs. So what we have as our strength, we are going to do four sets. It's going to be 10 side lunges on each leg. So if you have weights, you can hold a weight. All right, how would you like to hold a weight today, JP? I like to hold my side. Why don't you show me what your, your plan is? Oh, uh, I was gonna say Okay, so I just wanted to see if he was gonna touch the ground or not. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do your side lunge with a weight. With a weight. You're gonna hold the weight in the opposite hand of the leg you're going to be stepping onto, all right? So just watch him, he's stepping out, he's reaching for the ground with that plate, trying to reach in front of his toe, and then he's gonna push back, all right? You just wanna make sure that your heel that you're stepping onto stays on the ground. Uh, just turn to the side, JP. You don't want your knee to kind of drive forward and have, see how his heel's starting to come off the ground there. You wanna to try to sit your butt back and bend over more, all right? You'd rather be bent over more so your heel can stay on the ground, okay? So it's gonna be 10 on one leg, and then you'll switch hands and do the other side, 10 on the other side. Once again, you do not need to hold away for this, just reaching down with either one or two hands. Um, go ahead and show that one or two hands, yep, uh, is sufficient enough. So 10 on one side, 10 on the other, and then you're going to find your object that you're gonna be using about knee height, couches, chairs. If you have a box for some reason, uh, this works. So you want your knees at about 90 degrees, so hips and knees to your ankles, just make that uh, about 90 degrees. Just your heels are gonna be on the object. You're going to lift your uh, butt off the ground. Try to think about you're pulling your heels down into the object and lifting up. Uh, go ahead, back down. If for some reason, if you're using a freestanding chair and the object actually slides away from you. So if you're going up, I don't even know if you can do it, JP. And the object starts sliding away from you as you lift, that means that you're trying to use the front of your legs, your lower back, like other muscles that aren't kind of the right area that we're trying to target. So you want to try to imagine how to keep the object that you're using still while lifting your hips straight up in the air and heels are digging down into the chair. You're doing 15 of those, all right? These are also acceptable. Um, if you wanna make them a little bit harder, you can do single leg. Yep, single leg would be a little bit more challenging. It can be 15 on one leg, 15 on the other. If for some reason this is very hard, you are more than welcome to do the same two variations, but on the ground, all right? So feet would be on the ground. We're lifting up and down either double leg or single leg. All right, so what I'm gonna have you do is stop the video, do your four sets of that, and then you'll restart the video and we'll get into our workout. Good. And we're back. Okay, so this workout, it is uh, really, it sounds easier, it looks easier than it is, and when you do the best you can. All right, we are doing five rounds of this. So what we have is something called a touch jump. Yep, we're gonna get in front of the camera. So touch jump, you're gonna be in your squat stance, your feet are gonna be maybe a little wider than your squat. In one hand, you're gonna reach down, bending the knees, touch the ground with the dumbbell, and then you're gonna stand, do a little hop at the top. The hop does not have to be huge. You just want a little bit of explosive action as you get to the top of this. It's just gonna make your heart rate go up. So you're gonna do 10 on one side, and then you'll switch and do 10 touch jumps on the other side, all right? The next movement is a pressing sit-up. So you're gonna be on your ground with your weight. Now don't forget, we showed a backpack workout uh, for this last week, so a backpack actually could work really well um, for all these movements. So we have our weight in front of us, we're gonna sit up and we're gonna press overhead. All right, we have 12 of those. So you can hold your kettlebell, backpack, whatever object you're using, just hold it up for your chest, pressing overhead. And then we have grasshoppers. So it's a mountain climber modification that makes it a little bit more challenging. You're gonna be in a push-up position and you're going to swing your foot across and then back. So the faster you do these, the more cardio. Just make sure that you're not compromising where your hips are. You just don't wanna be in like a TP 
Show what ugly ones. You want your butt like super high up in the air and kind of like shoulders not pressing forward over your hands. Uh, no, push back. You don't want to be kind of like this. So see how far away his shoulders from his fingertips are? You want to make sure that you're leaning forward the whole Anthony time. Anthony and Andrew, watching you guys. <laughs> All right, so what you're gonna do, unfortunately, we're not gonna do this one with you. You're gonna stop it. I know, I know. Uh, but it is five rounds, 10 touch jumps on one side, 10 on the other, 12 pressing sit-ups, 14 grasshoppers. Do it as fast as you can, and then maybe time yourself. Let us know how fast you did it. All okay, right? Let me know, send us your times. Send us your times, enjoy. Have a great day.